Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel I talk about all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So in today's video I have a fashion video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you seven looks that I recreated from looks that I found on Instagram. So I have a whole series of these videos and you guys seem to like them so I will continue to record them and make them for you until some you know until you don't want to see them anymore but hopefully you you enjoy them as much as I love creating them. So today like I said I have seven looks and they are all kind of like neutral looks and I do have a few little looks that are have a little bit of color in it for those of you who like color so yeah just a fun video that I enjoy like I said doing and filming and you guys seem to like it as well so yeah so just keep watching if you want to see how I created these seven looks or recreated I should say from some Instagrammers and bloggers that I enjoy you know following on here on YouTube as well as on Instagram because some of these also um, are based on blogger style that I watch here on Inst on YouTube as well so but anyway so yeah so if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and without any further rambling from me here are seven looks that I recreated from Instagram all right enjoy the video all right so here is the first look and I'll pop the inspo pictures you know here on the right so you guys can see the inspiration for the looks and so the first thing I have on I have the similar hat to hers or actually the exact same hat I don't know where hers is from but mine is from um, Urban Outfitters I got this one a couple of months ago and I try to find it on Amazon but they don't have this color I have like I have this hat in like several colors like actually there they are right there in that basket um but the green one i got this one from um, urban outfitters so if it's still available i will link it down below everything that i show you all the outfits and the pieces i will try to link them down below so um and then the next piece is this white bodysuit that is from zara i think she has on the same one in the inspo pick and then i have on this green like puff bag puffy little bag but take it's very bottega inspired and this is also from Zara. And then I have on these like distressed jeans that I just got from Zara as well. And in the inspo pic, she has on some green sandals. But I decided to switch it up just to kind of add to the very like sporty chic kind of vibe to this look. And I did my green and black um, Jordans. So just to kind of edge it up a little bit more. And I think I would further um, style this up with like a blazer. I just feel like that I just feel like it, it needs a blazer and then these glasses and the inspo pick I think hers are like rounded mine are more like I don't know these are Ray-Bans by the way I don't know what she has on the inspo pick but mine are Ray-Bans so yeah so this is the outfit and yeah, let me know what you guys think about this outfit and how I put together this look based off of the inspo pick but yeah I love this one and just a very casual, sporty, chic kind of vibe. Like I said, you can add a blazer on and you're good to go. Or switch out the Jordans for some heels. And yeah, it's a look. So yeah, I love this look. I love green. So just, you know, fits in right along with my love for green. So yeah, so this is the first inspo or the first look in the first inspo pick. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this look. All right, here is the next look and this one um is in, from as you can see from the inspo pick from karen brick i love her i love watching her youtube channel she has amazing style and so i saw this picture of her and just thought i would recreate the look um because i had some similar pieces so starting from the top i have this cream hat that i got from just fab i've had had this i think i got this earlier in the year um but i love it i love like a little bow detail here on the side of it so it's really cute and so yeah it's a cream hat perfect for the fall time and then i have this like puff sleeve or not puff sleeve but shoulder pad sleeve or shoulder pad detail shirt i don't know what, you, what do you call these shoulder pads they're they're like these muscle tees with shoulder pads um so yeah i saw she had one and then i knew i had um one as well this one i got from zara and then pants wise she had on like some army green um like military or like what do you call them cargo pants and i don't have any i have some but they're not they don't have like pockets like hers had like pockets in them so i knew i had these like um camo these camouflage um 
like cargo pants that I hardly ever wear, but I got these from Zara. They are a little too big, but they are like this tie up kind of, what do you call it? Um, gosh, what do you call this waist? Um, I can't think of the name, paper bag. There it is, paper bag waist. So I can tie it and make it kind of cinch it in my waist. And um, the shoes, these are from Just Fab. I've had these for years. I think in the inspo pic, she, it looks like she had on some rock studs, some Valentino rock stud flats, but I don't have any of those, but I do have these. They're like little lace up flats um that i like i said got from just fab and then her bag is similar to this it's a similar style but i don't know where her bag is from but mine i got from mango um hers is like a cream color um but i just thought this would look nice as far as like all the neutrals so y'all know i'm a neutrals girl i love neutrals and i love this look like i never would have thought to pair this look together or wear these pieces like this so so glad i um found that her picture in uh, inspo picture on instagram brand, uh, karen brick chick because i never would have thought to put this together but i love it i really love it and this is definitely something that i would wear um anywhere so yeah and I, again i can further style this when it starts to get a little colder with like a blazer or a jacket or you know like a leather jacket yeah so look so just simple basic look that you can kind of style different ways so um, yeah, so this is the next look. So you guys let me know how I did with this look compared to the inspo pic. So yeah, let me know what you think of this look down in the comments. All right, let's get into outfit number three. All right, and here is the next look. And here is the inspo pic. And yeah, I really love this outfit. It's a very simple outfit, but I just feel like it's just simple outfits to me make the best outfits. So um, from head to toe, I have this um like white um it's a white linen top that i got from mango i think last year and um so yeah so i just thought i would kind of tie it up in the inspo pic i'm not sure if she has it tied up or not let's see let me get the inspo pic it looks like she has it tied up i'm not sure but um i couldn't tell if she had on a skirt or a dress it looks like she has on a dress but um, I decided to wear my slip dress that I just recently purchased from Shein. If you've been following me, you know I that I said I've been trying to find like a black slip dress because I have several slip dresses, but I don't have them or have any in a black. So um, got found one on Shein, very affordable. I will link it down below if it is available or try to you know link down something similar. So if I can't find the exact items, I will link something similar if you are interested in like the style of the pieces that I have on. Um, so yeah, so I got this slip dress from Shein and then this little bag here and the inspo pick hers is black and it's a, actually hers is probably a, a Bottega. Um, but this one I got from Shein, it's a Bottega dupe and it's like in this cream color. It didn't have any black ones kind of like this. So just pulled out the white one. And then for shoes, I have on my Chloe sandals. I just recently purchased these from Nordstrom. Just thought kind of tie in all the black and the white, just a very monochromatic look really really nice transitional outfit for going into the fall season i feel like so um her shoes i think are hermes which i've been kind of debating whether or not i wanted to invest in some hermes slides i think at this point with you know the season about to change i don't particularly wear slides like in the fall and winter time i don't know i'm gonna think about it i may decide to invest in some next year but as of right now i don't have any desire to get any so yeah so this is the look and let me know how you guys feel about this look compared to the inspo pick and or if i came close to you know nailing the inspo pick with this look so yeah so love it just very casual outfit i feel like the shoes makes it more casual as well as like the linen top i feel like makes it a casual look because that's kind of how you can wear a slip get away with wearing slip dresses and not look like you're going out you know and to some event or something you can just pop on a casual shirt and some you know casual shoes and just make the look more casual so yeah so i love this look and you guys let me know what you guys think about the look so all right so let's get into outfit number four all right and here is outfit number four and yeah i love this look um it's a little different from the inspo pick as you can see and the inspo pick is by um emma hill i don't know if you guys know her she's a fashion um blogger and she has 
obviously has Instagram, but she also has a YouTube channel. I love her channel. I love her style. It's very basic and very much so like, you know, neutrals. She's all about the neutrals. So she's like a, a good go-to for like neutral styling and how to do neutral. So anyway, so in um, her pic, she had, it looks like she had like a green, sagey green kind of top, which I don't have. I have like this sagey green kind of top and it's polka dots. Polka dots are trending right now. They are very much so in. I went to Zara, um, the website one night and to just to look and get some inspo and also to see if they had anything new that I think I may want to add. And I just saw a whole bunch of polka dots. I'm like, oh my God, it's like polka dot overload. So anyway, so um, I thought I would, you know, wear this because I haven't worn this top in so long. I got it from Mango, by the way. So yeah, this top, this polka dotted sage green top is from Mango. I've had it several years and just pulled it out of my closet. That's one thing, a good thing about Instagram or getting, pulling um, inspiration from Instagram as well as Pinterest too. But I just so happen, I just do Instagram. I don't hardly ever go on Pinterest. Um, but it's just good to get inspiration and to kind of see how to pair stuff that you have in your wardrobe that you never would have thought to pair. Like I never would have thought to pair this top with this um, tank top and these like wide leg pants. Um, so let me get back into the outfit. So again, like I said, this top is from Mango. This is just a little tank top because in the inspo it looks like she had on like a beigey kind of tank top. So I just picked this one on I got from Mango. This is old as well. And then I pit, um, put on these wide leg like cream color pants that are also from Mango. And in this fall pick, I'm not sure what kind of shoes she had on, but it's like she had some slides. So I just put on these slides. They're just like a crisscross slides that I just um, recently purchased from Zara. And then she, it looked like she had on a tote bag, but I wasn't, couldn't fully see. Um, let me grab the inspo pick. I couldn't fully see. It looks like she has like a brown tote bag. So I just, I just love the tones of that look. It's very, very nice and so I just picked this like um, basket weave kind of bag that I got from this is from Zara actually it's old I think it's from Zara pretty sure it is but it's old so I just thought it looked really nice with all like the creams and the sagey green yeah I just, just love the vibes of this outfit and the colors um, so yeah just again a very casual look and yeah love the way this looks never would have thought to put it together especially like these pieces these are old pieces everything that I have on other than the slides are old pieces so giving some old pieces some new life so yeah but I love this look you guys let me know what you think how I compare it to the inspo pick which one you like better yeah so yeah so this is outfit number four so we'll get into outfit number five all right and here is the I think this is the fifth look and yeah so this look is just an all black look and yeah so we'll just get into it the inspo pick i think she had um like some sandals but i swapped out the sandals for some loafers so from top to bottom i just have on this t-shirt it's a little like in the inspo pick she had a t-shirt black t-shirt so i popped on this black t-shirt that is from h&m um i purchased this in like a recent h&m haul i purchased it in several colors so yeah so i got this from h&m and then this blazer it's like it's kind of oversized a little bit but yeah this black blazer i also i picked this up from zara recently um yeah so i didn't have like a i have some black blazers or i have a black blazer but it had like gold buttons on it so i wanted one thing one just kind of simple and plain um that i can style like this and then i have on some black biker shorts um and inspo pick i think she had on some as well and then in inspo pick she had on some you know has on a chanel bag which I don't have a Chanel bag. I just have this bag. I think, I think I got this from Zara. It's old though, so I, no need to me even open it up to see where it's from. It's either from Zara or Mango, um, but it's very much so kind of YSL kind of Chanel vibes. And so as far as shoes, I popped on instead of um, sandals. I think she had on like some dad sandals. I decided to pull out my Prada loafers with this look because I thought it looked really cute and chic just to do something different and I, I haven't worn these yet so this kind of gives me an outfit to wear with these because I am going to most certainly get my wear out of these shoes um, and they're just in this brown color I love the brown just to kind of break up a little all this black um, yeah I just wanted something else to wear to kind of break up all this black but even though it's still kind of dark but I just thought it would look cute with this look so 
yeah so that is the fifth look you guys let me know how i did with this look if you like this how i kind of did it i mean it's similar to the inspo pick so nothing nothing's different other than the shoes so if you like the shoes with this kind of look or if you prefer sandals you know just let me know i'm interested in seeing what you guys what you guys think or if you would go with a whole different shoe sandals and are no loafers like if you would go with you know some sneakers per, you know perhaps because i do have some black um sneakers that i think also will look cute with this look so it's an all black look so any shoe would do right but um yeah you guys let me know what you think about this look um compared to the inspo pick so yeah so that is look number five all right and here is the sixth outfit i thought i would save the color for last um so this is just like a pop of color actually because all of my outfits have been neutral so but i'm a neutral girl through and through and i feel and i feel like a lot of people play it safe when it comes to color and yeah you you hardly at least i do anyway hardly ever see a lot of people styling like colorful outfits so it's kind of hard to get really inspiration from color for me at least because i don't have a lot of colorful pieces so i wear what i wear what i got you know what i'm saying so but anyway so with this look um you see the inspo pick she has a pink top on and i got this one is from zara and yeah i just i just love pink i love pink and green together actually so yeah this top i got from zara and her she has it tucked in i don't i don't like tucked in shirts i don't like to tuck in my shirt i don't know what that is i'd rather just tie it up or just leave it out i don't know but I, am i the only one that feels like that like i just can't stand to tuck in my shirts um but anyway she has on like those like big um like balloon kind of what do you call them like balloon short pants i don't know what you call these pants they're just like a, i don't know these are like cropped kind of i forget what you call these pants y'all but these pants um are from zara and they just i love like the little like seam going down the middle i think in the inspo pic she has some um has some with a seam down the middle as well they're like balloon balloon jeans we call them balloon jeans or like slouchy jeans the slouchy jeans yeah that's what these are um and in the inspo pic she it looks like she had on i couldn't i can barely make out what the shoes were but it looked like she had on some high top converse which i have some converses but i don't have any high top ones so i just paired my um nike mid 77s y'all have these in two other colors and i just keep buying up buying them up so i just thought i'd pop these on um just to kind of add just a little bit of something something to the look rather than just wearing like all white shoes so these just have the black nike check on them i got these recently from nordstrom and in the inspo pick it looked like she had a bag similar to what i have on i'm not sure what her bag was but it looks similar to this and i just popped on like this beigey kind of looking bag that i got from shein um if, i will link it down below if it's still available i think they had it in several colors so i'll see if it's still available and link it but like I said, everything that I can find, I will link it down below or something similar. So, but yeah, so this is kind of like the exact dupe or exact match of the inspo pick. Just a little bit. I just, like I said, I didn't tuck, tuck in my paint, uh, shirt and the bag is a little different and my shoes obviously are a little different. So it's just inspo. So just kind of get your mind kind of to think about what you have that's similar that you can style up. So in an outfit. So yeah, so love this look. Very casual very very casual look and when you know wear this to run errands in or just doing whatever you know day to day so yeah so you guys let me know what you think about this look and how it compares to the inspo pick so yeah so that is outfit number six all right guys so i think i saved the best look for last like this is just an explosion of color this is nothing but color and one of my favorite colors of the season which is green um so i'll pop the inspo pick here and this is i think her name is essie i think i don't i don't know but you see the picture um i follow her on instagram as well as youtube because she has a youtube channel and she is like the epitome of color if you go to her youtube channel or you go to her instagram you'll just see nothing but color um and she's one of the one of the fashion bloggers or bloggers that actually inspired me when inspires me when it comes to color so she she does you know just impeccable um color combinations and she's a fellow nurse so 
yeah so just goes to show nurses aren't nurses just aren't out here saving lives we are also slaying looks okay because we're multi we're multi faceted like that um but yeah so this look is inspired by her and i didn't have a green skirt although i would love to get one but let me just reel it in just looking at this inspo pic makes me want to go get a green skirt but i'm gonna i'm gonna contain myself um although no i probably won't i'll probably have one by the end, the end of the week um but yeah i have a green suit and this i'm wearing head to toe zara like this whole entire look is from zara um this suit i think i purchased it like in the beginning of summer i did a zara haul with all these pieces all these pieces i think are recent yeah even like this orange bodysuit is recent so she has on um, a bodysuit as well i think hers hers like has a like a half sleeve type of deal um but yeah this is one of the zara bodysuits that i love so i got it in the orange as well and like i said this entire suit is from zara and um i actually wore it i wore it to some event i went to i can't remember um i wore it to a church event that i went to so definitely didn't pair it with any orange um but i like orange and green together i think that's a pretty combination and yeah it's orange overload but you know why not why not um i would definitely wear this in the fall time i think this is fall appropriate green you know green of the trees and the orange is a very fall color so i feel like this is a cute look to wear in the um fall season and also to wear in the office if you you know work in an office environment and you have to dress up i think wearing color is just one way to stand out if that's your thing but i love suits and i love to style suits i think i'm going to do like a styling one suit like five different ways or something like that i'm going to pick a suit out of my closet and show you guys some ways to style it because i love suits i may do like a workwear lookbook too um as well so to kind of show you what to wear to work because i have a lot of dressy pieces too so just to kind of give you some more inspiration so but yeah that's enough rambling this is outfit number seven the final look you guys let me know how this look compares to the inspo pick and yeah did i nail the recreation of this look or not i think i did uh but yeah so that's it so that is the fa the, the final look so you guys let me know down in the comments which look was your favorite and yeah which look would you rock for this up and coming fall season because i feel like these are transitional outfits like these are outfits you can wear like once once the weather starts to transition into the fall season so i think these are cute cute looks for that so yeah so let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments and if you like videos like this because i have a whole series of these if you like videos like this where i just pick outfits from instagram and recreate them yeah just let me know by thumbs um you know give me a thumbs up and also subscribe for more fashion type videos like this so yeah so that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye guys